scared. I'm scared. Alright guys, so hi everyone, it is Carly Reese and welcome back to another video. And today I am doing Worth It or Waste It for Halloween Dollar Tree decorations. And today I have two special guests with me who are going to help test out the products. So they're mainly just going to be in the back relaxing and playing with the bags. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this pumpkin ice cube tray. So obviously I had to freeze this before time so I can't really do it right now but I already have them for Rosen and I'm going to take one of them out. Let's see if it's in the shape of a pumpkin. Okay, so here is one of the ice cubes. It looks like it, it looks like it's pumpkin shaped to me. It looks good. Now time for the cat's opinions. Let's see what they think. Don't be Blake. She likes it too. I'm going to be doing worth it or waste it. And worth it means that the product is worth going buying, which means it's going to work. And waste it means it is a waste of your money and you should not go and buy it because the product does not work. So I wanted to be Dander, my cat, for Halloween. And it looks like this is worth it because don't we just look alike? Yeah. Okay, so this next product is a paper lantern. So it's supposed to be pink and it's supposed to go into like like a pink ball with like bats around it and it's supposed to light up. So that was really easy to take out. It's kind of like flat though, like it's not puffing up. I wonder, see like look, it keeps just, I think you, like see look, it keeps going back to normal. So, so far I'm not feeling this. It did not stay open and it just broke. So, definitely not worth it. Are you serious? And it doesn't even light up. This is ridiculous. It doesn't even stay open and the handle thing fell off. Waste it. Wasted your money on that. The next product we have actually seems so fun. So we have this like styrofoam pumpkin here and then we have some stuff to stick on it to make it super cute. So this is kind of turning into like a craft video. So we're gonna make a craft. So I have no idea how to make this. Oh my God, is this a hat? Whoa. All right, so first here's the hat. It has like these weird purple things sticking off of it. I think it's supposed to be like hair. It would be a lot better if they were more controlling and not sticking everywhere. Also, it would be better if there was some, like, thing to stick it on because you just lay it on there. So that part, the hat, is wasted. Here we have the nose. The nose looks like, nose looks good. But I don't know how it's going to wrap around this. How easy it's going to wrap around. Okay, so I cannot get the tongue, I cannot get the nose to stay on here, so... The nose might be a waste it. Maybe if it was tighter and easier to get on, I would say worth it. But right now, okay, I actually got it on. So I'm going to say worth and waste because it should not have to be that complicated to put a rubber band thing around a pumpkin, but it was $4. So I'm going to say it is both. Can I do that? my video so next we have to take these little sticky circles and stick it onto a eye and then we have to apply it onto the pumpkin so that looks that looks great now we have to do the same thing to the other eye oh dander do you want to wear the hat no let go let. guys stop dander dander put the hat on put the hat on let go. No, Dander, it's not a toy. Dander. Yep, it's a good cat toy too. Stop. Get back. No, Dander. Dander, get away from the hat. So here's what we've got so far. It kind of looks weird. And then we have the happy face. Usually witches aren't happy. I mean, 
it's supposed to be like a kid craft. Aw, it's so cute. And this would even be like cute to put in like a kid's bedroom because I know a lot of people that I just fall. I know a lot of people who are like obsessed with fall, aka myself, and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to put up fall decorations around your house as well as in your room. So, I'm going to say worth it for everything besides the hat. I don't like how the orange stuff is like all in the face and stuff and the hat completely like let's say it just like bam. It just falls off. You have your window open and wind is blowing in and it just blows off. So, I'm going to say worth it for the rest. It's even cute just like this. Since most of that stuff worked out, I am going to say worth it. Next, we have some hands. I'm going to need a cat to test this. So this is obedience school. So I'm going to need a cat to be my example for this. Because what if they're at obedience school and they can't be taught by normal hands and they need skeleton hands? So we're going to use Mrs. Cow for this example and we are going to give her a massage and we're going to see if she likes it. I think she likes it. Is this supposed to be a back scratcher? Wait. Oh my god, that feels so good though. Here, Dandre, you want to try it? They're both purring, so this is definitely a good back scratcher or like a good cat toy. So I'm going to say this is worth it for sure. Look, cats love it. Don't eat my ice cubes. I wanted those. So this is supposed to be a whack and pack. So you're supposed to hit it and it's basically supposed to like explode and then create like a balloon. Like, float. Well, I guess that's what it's similar to saying on the package. So we're going to actually try them out and we're going to see what happens. I think that sounds impossible, especially I don't understand why they would sell something to school for a dollar. I'm kind of scared my cats are going to freak out. So you hit it. Okay. Like how hard do you smack it? Smack. Oh, ooh. I'm kind of scared. Oh my god. My cats are freaking out. Oh my god. No, Ivy. I'm scared. Holy crap. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, I'm gonna do it again because it was fun. They work really cool. I think this is definitely worth it. But it's really hard to hit, so I'm going to leave that one right there. I'm going to do another one at the same time. Oh, I made a really cute balloon. I think I popped the balloon. Here's this one. I'm not I'm scared. Uh, it takes so long. I actually broke one of them, guys. I don't like it. I think this is definitely worth it, but I think it's really scary. It's definitely scary. Here. It's really hard though. Oh man. Aww. So one of mine accidentally broke open. So after they break open, you can't fix it. Yeah, see, if you push them too hard, they pop open. So I two that ended up working, and I thought they were super cool. So I definitely think they're worth it, but they need to fix the quality of, like, the bags so they don't just, like, break like that when you're trying to hit it. Or maybe I just need to, like, get weaker. Yeah, funny. Next, we have some fangs. So we're going to try these on, and these are glow-in-the-dark. So we're going to add that to our glow-in-the-dark pile. Next, we have a, like, bobblehead pumpkin thing. I'm gonna, all we're trying to test here is if it rocks back and forth. That was so easy to open. Every package needs to be like that. Oh, it's a solar thing. So you're supposed to set it by like your window and the sun's supposed to make it like 
So that's super cool. Obviously, it's going to work because it obviously shakes back and forth already. So that's cool. I like that. Next, we have some putty. And it's in the shape of a black cat. Ivy, Gander. Oh my gosh, do you not see them eating this hat? This is not a toy, guys. Look, they're after it. And look, you can even use these hands to open up this package. Look, the, it just made a hole. See, all these things are connected in one way. I see what they're doing. I like it too. Definitely, if you're looking for like Halloween decorations and you don't want to go out to like Home Goods and spend like a ton of money or anything, nothing against Home Goods. I love it. I love Home Goods. But like, see what I'm saying? God, I have slime again. Oh my God. I love this so much. But anyway, you can always go to Dollar Tree and they have a ton of cool stuff, even for kids' bedrooms. So yeah. This is so cool. It's not really slime because it like breaks apart. But it's definitely the softest like thing ever. I'm gonna combine two together. Now my cats are playing with the balloons that exploded. Those things were so scary. Look, it starts out as like a cat shape and then you can like oh my god. That is amazing. I love this. Wait, oh my god. I don't really like how it breaks apart, but like, that's how putty is, I guess. I was actually gonna get this to scare my cats. We're gonna see what we can do. Ready? See, why are cats so boring? You not see what I'm saying? I just threw this gigantic spider at her and she doesn't even freak out. Oh, look, she claws it. She doesn't even care. Why are cats so boring? Dogs would freak out. I love my cats, but they need to be a little bit more, um, they need to be a little bit more enthusiastic. So it looks like we have another solar powered, um, like, swingy thing. That's cool. I'll put these by my window. They're cool. Now we have our fangs. We need to open these. I hate these. They don't fit. Not these ones in particular, but like all things. Cause they don't fit in your mouth. And you can't talk. And it makes you slobber everywhere. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I have not been saying worth it or wasted, so I'm gonna go back through everything. I already said worth it for this. The This putty is definitely worth it. It works very well. You guys should just get it instead of doing slime. These fangs, they're worth it. They're normal fangs. You get a lot of it in one package, so that's cool. Me, personally, I would not buy these because I hate fangs. <laughs> they're so uncomfortable in your mouth. For the spider, I mean, this could pull some pretty good pranks. But it's pretty flimsy and it looks like it would break if a dog like just chewed it for a little bit. So I'm going to say wasted on this. Plus it didn't scare my cat so it doesn't reach my expectations. Couple more things. So these are like solar powered lights. You can put these outside like on your walkway to your front door. They are solar powered as well. So let me go turn off the light. And I'm going to have to turn off this light too. So no they are not turning on. Okay, hey, look, looks like we got them on. Oh my gosh, and it's making like a pumpkin on the wall. That's so cool. You have to like bang them together to stop them. Watch, this one. The skeleton one is not working, so it might not always work, but the pumpkin one is definitely working. So cute. So we have a skeleton, which could be hung like somewhere at your front door and it is supposed to be glow in the dark so we are going to test it out and see if it's actually true and along with these fangs so let's turn the lights back off oh my gosh it's glow in the dark and so are the fangs yes I love glow in the dark stuff but on the camera it looks a lot brighter than it does in real life but I think it's super cool and my cats are running after it so the lights Mm, they're in the middle. I would say waste it because you could definitely go somewhere and get better ones that won't be as cheap and they will obviously work. This is definitely worth it because it obviously glows up and what more would you want from buying this because the main purpose is it glows up. The fangs, like I already said, they're worth it. 
they obviously light up. Like I said, that would definitely not be something I would buy, but I did for the video. So my cats definitely had a good time filming this. They really liked all the products. Their favorite one was the witch hat. I definitely like the hands because it makes everything easier for me to rub my cat's butts. So while <laughs> I'm sitting on my phone, see, look at how much they hate me, guys. See what I have to deal with? Ivy's the only nice cat. You're the only nice cat. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and all the other channels in the description below. If you want to see another worth it or waste it or another video similar to this, make sure you comment that down below if you would like to. And again, thank you for my special guest for joining me and today's worth it or waste it. And I hope they had just as good of a time as I did. And I thought this was super fun and I hope they did as well. Now I have a super huge mess on my floor that I have to clean up. But meanwhile, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.